Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yet another Monday, uh, the last Monday of the month. And hopefully you guys had some pretty good sales. I could say ours was kind of decent on Friday and Saturday and it just kind of fell off a little bit. Um, not so great, not bad, but not great. And then today uh, the sales really uh, are back on par. So, you know, I, I want my $500 days. Had one on uh, Saturday had one today. So kind of back on track. I heard some other people having some not so hot sales on Sunday. So maybe it's just something going on with eBay. But I uh, want to let you guys kind of get rolling in here. But I do want to talk about uh, something that Primo Chemo on his live talked about. So James, I'm sorry, uh, not trying to steal your content or anything or your thunder. Um, but I thought it was kind of uh, something that we want to kind of go over with. Uh, you know, those folks that didn't see uh, James is live this morning can uh, maybe uh, appreciate uh, the fact that we're going to show it here. Um, I can tell you as far as yard sales, and I'll give people a little, little more time to come in. Uh, we had a ton of them this weekend and um, I had to drag Jenna out of the house. Actually, she was okay with coming with me. She I didn't get drunk. No, she didn't. I asked her if she wanted to go. And so we went. And uh, I even uh, caught her one time looking up an item on her phone. I don't know. What was it that you were looking up? Um, there was a pair of Ariat jeans. And I know that Ariat jeans are expensive to buy as, as brand new. And so I was looking them up and they actually were only selling on eBay for like 24 bucks. Hmm. So I was like, no, nah, because they wanted 10 for them. Yeah, and I was like, so no. Good. It's no good. Uh, picked up, uh, came across this guy who had maybe a table out in his garage, uh, just like in his driveway in his garage. And he had some guitars on there. Uh, honestly, I should have taken some time to look up the, the guitars, but he probably knew more about those than he did the item I actually bought, which was he had a bunch of HP toners. We're talking brand new sealed toners. And the thing with HP toners and what for, for those, those of you out there who ever come across HP toners, I believe Canon are the same way, but I might be wrong on that. HP toners, because they're in a sealed bag on the inside of the box, there is no actual expiration date like you'd see on ink. So you'll see on their ink that's like two to three years is their expiration, the expiration date, even though we, it's still good to use in most cases. But toner doesn't have one as long as it's in, in the sealed pouch, kept in a uh, pretty decent uh, temperature controlled environment. And so I knew this going in and the guy wanted, he had uh, a lot of different models. So I don't have them all on the top of my head. I was buying pallets of this stuff uh, two to three years ago. But I do know that there's the HP is probably has more value than say brother or Canon. Canon's kind of up there. <clears throat> so these are the actual genuine ones, no knockoff third party ones. And he had like eight uh, toners and he had another like eight cartridges, ink cartridges and accessories because they, they weren't all ink cartridges. So he had 40 bucks on two of them, 20 bucks on a couple of the other ones. And I'm like, okay, time to pull out the old trick to see, just to see, because you never know unless you ask, how much do you want for all of it? And he probably had about a good $300 worth of stickers on all the different ones. And he's like, I don't know. You tell me, you give me, make me an offer. And I'm him and Han. And I said, 80 bucks. I could do 80. All right. Gave him the 80 loaded in the car, had to make two trips. And I've already tripled my money uh, already. And I still have about half of it. So that was a good one. I uh, had a bunch of uh, clothing that we bought, which of course you guys know I'm not a clothing buyer, but when you are looking at, uh, we even sold one of them, the uh, Under Armour camera, camouflage hoodie. These things look like they weren't even worn. We yeah, they li they literally look like they were brand new. Yeah. And uh, we picked those up for, anybody want to guess? I asked them, how much do you want? for these clothes. These are Under Armour camo. So they're camo and they've got the black Under Armour, uh, Under Armour logo. $10 each. Anybody would buy that for 10. 
How about for five? Anybody buy those to resell for five? What about one? Because that's what we paid, one dollar a piece. He said, one dollar. And I'm like, okay. So I was I was initially looking at some jerseys. He had some Seattle Mariners, like the, the lime green um, alternative uh, colorway and some blue ones too. I picked up all the jerseys for 60 bucks for all four. And uh, we we're just adding all these clothes. He had a Patagonia t-shirt, one dollar. He had a uh, Hurley Nike, um, it's weird, I've never seen this. It was a uh, Hurley branded pair of pants, but they had the Nike dry uh, dry fit. And I thought that was kind of different, one dollar. I mean, we wiped out his table for the most part yeah. for a dollar. So I'll sell clothing that's going to flip. We sold the uh, the hoodie, one of the hoodies already for 20 something plus shipping, like 30 something dollars. And we paid one dollar. And as an everything seller, I'm, I'm always looking for opportunities. And that was pretty much a pretty good opportunity right there. So it's been about 220 bucks this weekend. And we have uh, quite a bit of merchandise, golf clubs, other things that uh, ultimately will will sell. I mean, I haven't listed, but I'd say 60% of it. So I still have some some uh, work to do there in addition to all the other stuff that I that I buy the list anyway. So I got to keep putting the stuff in the store and we'll keep getting the sales as a result. So we have people kind of uh, rolling in here. Before we do, I want to say thank you to uh, a really great friend of the show. I just noticed this here. Uh, Mike Camparelli, let's share the wealth. So I thank you, sir, for the super chat. And uh, hopefully that means you had a great weekend in sales. Uh, and we'll talk about that here a little bit more. Thank you, Mike. We love you. So what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, this article that was put out by Value Added Resource. And again, thank you to Primo Chemo for even having this. I'll accept the cookies there. Having this on his program this morning. If uh, those of you who... Uh, want to know more, go to Primo Chemo's channel uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and I think Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern. But it says eBay surveys buyers on C2C, that's customer to customer initiatives, is eBay, is eBay it forward. Now that's their new slogan, eBay it forward, making a comeback. Now I've never even remember eBay using eBay it forward. It was all always if you can't find it uh, anywhere else, come to eBay. And a lot of people were up, up in arms saying, why do you want us to be the last resort? Well, I'll take that right now. Um, but eBay it forward. Now we'll get into what that is, but it says a value-added resource reader recently reached out about an interesting turn uh, a recent buyer survey took with questions about their purchase experience, uh, about customer to customer sales on the platform. The reader said they received an eBay survey inviting them to rate recent transactions but the, recent, uh, the questions quickly segued to gauging reactions to initiative they called eBay at Forward, described as a customer-to-customer -customer transaction for used goods. If that phrase sounds familiar, it was a marketing concept eBay floated in 2020 to 2021. I didn't hear about that. No. As then newly named Jamie Iannone touted eBay's core strength and success in non-new, non-new guys, non-new, in-season customer-to-customer categories as part of his tech-led reimagination uh, magical strategy. Uh, and according to Jamie, he says, I am honored to rejoin eBay as its next chief executive officer. We don't care. Uh, let me kind of go down here. Uh, Jamie took these sentiments even further uh, with an uh, NBC interview saying, uh, getting back to individual consumer selling and becoming the seller platform of choice were among his top priorities for the company along with focusing on core vertical strategies for growth. Well, we know they did focus on the core vertical strategy uh, categories, but they forgot about uh, the getting back to individual consumer selling. So maybe they did it in tiers. Maybe they uh, tackled the latter and then the former uh, they're now getting to. Maybe the new changes within their uh, executive team has led to maybe focusing more on the former. I don't know, but I would say that is a good step and a positive sign. And according to him, he says, I'm not satisfied with 
where we're at and I see enormous upside potential in really getting back and focus on the customer experience. I'm planning on leading what I'm calling the tech-led reimagination of eBay that's using our technology and next-gen compelling experiences in three different areas. First, building compelling experiences and key verticals that are really core to eBay and also getting back to our customer selling that's individual selling, which is really important to the platform. Second is being the seller platform of choice, especially around non-new in season. So non-new in season. So that should be encouraging for a lot of you guys. We've got a $500 billion opportunity in the core of what eBay is great at in non-new in season and being the seller platform of choice. There is a huge opportunity. And then third is building lifelong trusted buyer relationships. And then it says, uh, goes on to say eBay at Ford campaign came out in 2021. And while some spots did highly highlight luxury handbags and watches, uh, there was one focused uh, on vintage clothing, another on uh, featuring a wide range of items you could find on eBay, such as kitchen appliances, uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is, I, from what I understand, these are the old ads from 2021. I've never seen them, but I want to, hopefully this will translate out and we'll play okay. So I want to play a couple of these ads and see if you guys notice anything. Sarah found out camping. What was that? Wasn't her thing. So she eBay board her tent to Tom, who just had to get out of his house. You guys notice something real quick? I, I hate to stop the video, but um, notice she has a used tent, okay? She has a used tent, and I'm going to go back to it here. She has a used Thanks. tent. So Look at that. She's using a stock photo. Hmm. <laughs> She's selling her tent with a stock photo. Thought that wasn't allowed on eBay, but let's keep going. So she eBay bought her tent to Tom who just had to get out of his house. But Tom needed road trip money, so he eBayed the crock pot he never used to Steve, who wanted to turn the heat up on date night. But Steve needed counter space, so he sold his decanter it was a vase. to Sarah, who'd found a new outdoor hobby. And some bread. eBay, sell something and make room for something new. So what do you guys think about that? Let's look at this one. For every... No way. There's a rock on. Sell something and make room for something new. eBay it forward. And then here's this one. There's two more. For every meh. There's a yas. Sell something and make room for something new. eBay it forward. And the last one. Let's do this last one. For every hand be down. There's a glow up. Sell something and make room for something new. eBay it forward. So that's the the four spots that I've never seen any of them, to be honest with you. Goes on to say, unfortunately, consumer selling and being the seller platform of choice quickly faded to the background a few months later when Stephanie J followed Enone over from Walmart to take on the newly created role of eBay's chief business strategy officer. During Jay's tenure, eBay pursued a very narrow, focused, vertical, high value enthusiast buyer strategy you know the, the 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 trading cards the watches the tennis shoes leaving many of the non-new in-season one-of-a-kind vintage antiques and other collectibles c to c customer to customer sellers that were the foundational roots of ebay success feeling excluded and abandoned how many of you guys have felt excluded and abandoned uh, over the last three years i know that i have and sales have been okay but i just wish that ebay has uh could have done a little bit better. Fast forward three years, and now that narrow focus has not worked out nearly as well as I and Owen and Jay had hoped, with enthusiast buyer figures staying flat quarter after quarter, while eBay loses market share in other categories of smaller niche competitors like Depop uh, or Scrappy Up and com uh, coming startups like Whatnot, Mercari, Poshmark, um, even Bonanza's got their hand in the pie. Amidst mass layoffs in January 2024 and cost-cutting pressures, new open job positions showed eBay may be seeking fresh ideas and new strategies with a possible pivot back to a wider consumer-seller focus. And uh, that shift was bolstered even more when it was revealed that Stephanie J has departed the company. She's the one that wanted to focus on these seller categories, these, uh, these high-profile categories that many of us don't even bother selling in leaving questions about eBay strategy future up in the air. 
And Ionone also heavily leaned on C2C success in Germany, um, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I thought that was interesting to talk about. I want to know what you think about that. Is this just more fluff or is this a positive sign that uh, will help, I believe, uh, the other 90% of sellers who don't sell in those high profile categories or exclusively sell in those high profile categories. Um, for me, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm doing fine on the platform, but any help that eBay can give to get more buyers on the platform can only help all of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that is a good thing. And it's a shame that one executive can totally screw up the flow. I mean, Jamie had this idea to do this and that, and this Jay person came in and said, no, let's just do this. And then Jay hits the road and, you know, I owns back to, well, let's add that. So if they want to add that, which is us into the, the mix, I'm all for it. So let's see who we have today with us. Uh, we'll talk about that more on the live. If you guys have questions or anything like that, please put them in the chat in the live. If you're watching after the fact, of course, we want to know uh, what your thoughts are comment down below. No matter how you're watching though, hit the like button. Uh, somehow it magically works. Maybe it's one of eBay's magical things that uh, you get the sale within the next 24 hours. We don't hours. promise magical innovations here. Yeah, but we, we promise that uh, I'll give you uh, every cent it took to hit that like button back if you don't get a sale. That's a heck of a deal. Can't beat that anywhere. Mike Camparelli, again, here he goes, uh, says, hi, John and Jenna and fellow resellers. That big electronic slot I picked up is really paying off. Had my biggest sale ever today of $2,749 and another for $169 from that lot. Pretty good day for nice. sure. I would say so. Uh, what type of electronics were in that lot? I'm willing to bet there's maybe, maybe a computer or two, maybe um, cell phones. That's very interesting. Uh, Mike says on the topic, I commented last week that my only gripe with eBay is the lack of communications. This can be viewed in two ways, not letting us know what's going on, but also not listening to the sellers. Right. Well, that's, that's everything I think, but is this possible change? Cause I can't tell you guys, this is what's coming, but, um, if Jamie Iannone is saying this is part of a strategy, which is us, the customer to customer, uh, non-new in uh, season transactions, which hasn't been focused on up until now, maybe this has to be nothing but a positive sign. Um, and, and I hope that eBay, you know, those spots for when I understand those are not new spots or for 2021, hopefully eBay moves with that because whether it's eBay at Ford or just, come here and buy our damn items. I don't care what slogan they use. Uh, it's better than what we've had. Uh, Mike says, with their considerable loss of market share lately, maybe they're starting to take a sensible approach towards us finally. Let's hope this is the case. I mean, if they implement it and start doing what they say they're going to do, then maybe it will benefit us and we won't be on the, you know, the offensive all the time with them. Right. Uh, and Jerry's uh, having a issue with the snow there's a blizzard oh, in nebraska no. and then beard blizzard. of course is last um <laughs> oh beard. and i'm not sure if he's at home or if he's driving around uh we got biscuit butt thanks for being here and we have dave harrington i'm high well there you go <laughs> uh nothing like a flipping ain't easy program when uh you're on the <laughs> oh is it on the what do they call it on the juice no it's not the juice is it's on the Hell, I don't know. I, I don't get high. What so do I don't you know? know? I don't know anything about getting high. My only high is from Mio. From those of you who think uh, said something about Adderall, sorry, it's Mio. Yeah. Um, Mike says, "Hey Archie, how you been? Miss you, bro." And he kind of comes around when he's able to. He's not. He's not uh, coming around like he. I used to get a call like he's almost a busy daily. Guy. I get calls almost daily from the guy, and the, the guy doesn't uh, uh, call me anymore. Lenny K says, hello from snowy New Hampshire. Ended up with 10 inches over the weekend. <gasps> a friend from Upper Vermont got 23. Wow. Uh, oh, and Lenny got a scale. Awesome. Yay! Hopefully uh, you can use it. Uh, it's the green one, I believe. And yeah. that one has the nice LCD uh, display. So we'll be doing giveaways when we can. And uh, we just thought that was a good opportunity to do one. And we weren't announcing it. It wasn't a way to get people to watch. It was pretty much just, hey, thank you for those of you guys who randomly come here for the content. And uh, we kind of 
just did it. So you never know. Stephen J78 says live from Las Vegas, the moistest mo moist podcast on YouTube with the big moist himself, John, and his moisturizer, Jenna. Oh my God. <laughs> I've heard it all. <laughs> Flip it good says happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday. And we have Ping G says hello, John and Jenna and the chat. Hi, Ping. Uh, we have Nick Picker says I am almost set up on Tree Cat, but I can I'm not figure out how to match the listings. It won't let me select the match button. Well, so hopefully. Tree Cat's with us in the chat, so uh, Michelle can maybe answer that if she is. If she is. If um, she is. But if you're trying to match, so you have to actually, so Tree Cat has to see the listing when you when the match screen pops up, and you do you see the items in there to be able to match, or are they not there? Um, otherwise, you might need to do a sync. Um, if you, once you sync the item, then it should hopefully come up so that you can match. Um, otherwise, um, maybe Michelle can help out with that. And I have not yet received <laughs> word about when they're going to turn on the payment processor. So from what I understand, it's still free. Um, you know, you, you can, as you're making sales. You know, that uh, end item uh, D list thing where they end it all on all platforms. So you don't have to worry about selling it twice. That's still going on. Doesn't cost you anything. It, it doesn't hurt to get it set up because there's other features coming down the pike, like the uh, scheduling, which you can't do anywhere, not even on eBay, to schedule uh, to have an individual item or items, multiple items if you want, um, every four days end item relist, uh, every 29 days, which is what I would do with it. To have an end item relist because you're getting you're relisting it before eBay does, and you're getting that that new item boost for 12 to 24 hours. So that's certainly something that I would recommend. So real quick before we go on, he he says yes, I see the listings on all three platforms, but not sure what to do um, from there. I cannot select the match button. So what happens when you go and you click when you see them you can you tap on them and you once you tap on them they highlight green i believe and then once you um once they're highlighted then the match button will will allow you to click match yeah and uh you know there's a learning curve to to all these yeah um you know tree cats no different uh again they're constantly making improvements in the software so that uh you know, the user experience is improved. So, uh, you know, they do rely on your feedback and of course, reach out to them. They, they should be here in the, in the live, but, uh, and they, yeah, they might be watching or they might just be busy. You know, that they also do run eBay, uh, an eBay, yeah. uh, Mercari Poshmark business. So, uh, as you guys know, running one yourselves, most of you guys run just eBay. Some do cross posting and you know that you're, you know, throughout the day, you might just not have the time to, to stop what you're doing. Uh, Victor Wawiorka says, hello all, hope everyone is doing good. Yes, doing good. Chastity says, hello all, hoping your week has started off on a good note. Yes. Uh, so far, yeah. So far. Um, uh, oh, we're mere, we're That's meeting, uh, was it Larry Way Out? Yep, uh, Larry and um, Sharon, I believe it yeah, was Yeah, we're gonna, they're in town. Uh, as a viewer of the channel, Larry Way Out is uh, in town, so we're gonna meet them. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, have an evening of, good food mm -hmm. somewhere so i don't know uh, exactly where you have a setup i know jenna set up the, the the reservations and all that but yeah not to say i'd be able to uh stop what we're doing and go to dinner with everyone who comes to vegas uh, that's the the worst part about being in vegas because we have family coming like uh in about a week uh yeah about a week from now like 10 days from now yeah. and it's yeah. you know you it's it's the, the distraction and i don't want to call people distraction but it is just the circumstance of distraction where time is being taken away in an already short day. And uh, I don't mind doing it. I appreciate the people that uh, come here and watch the videos. That's why it's important. And that's why this live stream kind of does it differently. I, I think that if you're here watching the live stream and you take the time to say something in the chat, then um, I'm going to try to do what I can to, to at least address it if it's meant for the audience, sometimes a sidebar conversation. But um, I really do appreciate the audience and I do really appreciate, you guys aren't just a number to me. 
Uh, Jovial says, hey, 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 F.A. fam, happy International Waffle Day. Waffle Day? We should have gone to the waffle place. We don't have a I waffle like house waffle. out here. Yeah, we do. We just no, we do never not. been to it. The waffle no, house? Well, not the wa actual business, the waffle house, but there's a a waffle restaurant up uh, in Centennial. Sure. Like, let's call IHOP. No. Callie Deb says, hi, John and Jen and everyone. Thanks for being here. Hey. Paul Rose says, hi, John, Jenna, chat, and happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday, Monday to you. Monday. December 5, 1918. In, the, in house. the house. Meg's with us. Thanks hey, for being Meg. here. Uh, we have Henri Squaw. Hey, hey. And Kent with just more He's wisdom. So informative. That's just awesome. Yes. Uh, Jovial says, should we should be happy, beautiful hair day. Wow. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, Chatterbrains says, hello from Montana. We snowed yesterday and today. Oh, my gosh. It's that March snow. You know that this is kind of it. And uh, after, usually April doesn't snow, usually. But it's springtime coming. Yeah. Uh, Gail's with us. Says uh, hello, John and Jenna and FA fam, and hello, we have Gail. Mike Sellers. Says hello, hello everyone. Burr. Burr. And hopefully, Mike, you got your uh, uh, scale, your uh, Rolo scale. Yep. EVS says any early bird yard sale opportunities or discourages. Well, I mean, we had literally, and, and I'm not just joking yeah, about we this. Had, we had over 200 yard sales in in the uh, Las Vegas area yesterday. How do I know? I wasn't at all of them. Well, maybe even more than that, because we had three in our general area that were community sales, and each community sale had at least three, and some had like like the one up in the northwest part of town, Centennial Hills, Sky Sky Canyon, Sky Point. Uh, that one was like at least forty yard sales uh, that they had, and we were we only did like three hours worth. And I kind of debated with her how many we actually passed by because we didn't stop at every yard sale. We do the drive by. We turn the lights off. We get like low on our seat. No, we, we don't. Okay. Well, <laughs> but we still do the drive by lights, and... uh, lights off during the day. <laughs> Honey, come on. But we, you know, we, we do the drive by, we go in and we look and we see kind of what they have without getting out. We just, you know, we went by at least half the yard sales that, all they had were baby clothes. Oh my baby gosh, stuff. there is a plethora of baby goods mm. at every yard sale. It's crazy. So naturally we didn't stop there, but I swear, I swear, I even sent Archie a message. I swear I crossed paths with Wanda Sykes, mm. the comedian. And I say this because I know her voice. She had that voice and she, her hair was not done that like Wanda's, but it was kind of done like back in like cornrows kind of. And just her face, her facial, her face, her, she, I swear to you, it was Wanda Sykes. Now I know she, she doesn't live in Las Vegas, nose. but how do we know? I mean, she does have a distinct nose and she had that nose and we drove by. She still had that nose because I was going to show you. <laughs> and I, was, cause I told her when I got to the car, Jenna was like in the car waiting. Yeah. I'll wait while you go into the yard sale. And I said, that was Wanda Sykes. I swear to God it was. And, and it wasn't so, that she would, whoa, the thing flickered. It wasn't, she wasn't a buyer. She wasn't like she was the going one to, the yard she was sale. the one doing the yard sale. But I don't think it was her. I mean, especially I mean, being the neighborhood that it was. It was no her. No way. No, it wasn't that bad of a neighborhood. It wasn't but, bad, but it wasn't a Wanda Sykes neighborhood. Yeah, I know. Let's but it, uh, it wasn't way. a Wanda Sykes neighborhood. But I mean, that's how you live on the down low, right? You, you you go where people don't expect you. True. So I don't know. Maybe it's her doppelganger, but it was like, it kind of freaked me out for a moment. Richard uh, Sipniewski says, hi, J&J. &J. Only one sale in the last two days mm -hmm. and they haven't paid yet. Oh. Meanwhile, I bought something from eBay this morning and paid immediately. Of course. Yeah, because um, we we are all good buyers, right? <laughs> I think most of us are, right? We're more uh, we we are the example of what buyers need to be. Unfortunately, uh, I had a a similar situation that occurred a few weeks ago, and it was because they had a problem with their payment address, and uh, that might be what happened there. We have basket noodles. His toner is always good. It's actually micro fine plastic that's fused to the paper, and I am always, you know, I think Primo said it in his live that you know sometimes we all get different things from yard sales because our minds are sort of in tune with what type of things we bought before what we're what we're used to we naturally gravitate towards those type of items 
And sometimes we pass over deals on things because we just don't see the value in them. And I'm assuming that might be what happened because those toners were sit sitting there 40 bucks a piece, 20 bucks, $10. And maybe the sticker shock turned people away, mm -hmm. but there's that ultimate tactic. And I swear guys, it works. Uh, people want to people, see people at yard sales are selling individual items in their mind. And if you hit them with how much for it at all, it kind of throws them back. And if you ask them for a figure, of course, they're going to throw, tell you, they're going to throw it back on you to usually to tell you to give them a number, give them a number, give them a number that works for you to allow you to, to buy low so you can sell high. And usually that number is a big enough number to give them like, wow, 80 bucks. I'll take 80 bucks. And he explained this is from his son's old job and uh, he didn't need it anymore. It's been sitting here. Fine. I'll take it. So uh, that is certainly a strategy and that is a viable one to get good merchandise. And you guys know who that is. That is our probably our, our mailman with FedEx coming in right behind him at some point. So we might have another uh, disruption. We have a lot of stuff that's going out. Usually on Monday, we have a, most of our items throughout the week go out Mondays. I think we had about 20 that went out today and we're talking pretty large uh, items. Uh, Devon says, hello, hello. Thanks for being here. Uh, and basket noodles says, yep, toner is always good. Color toner, even better. Yep. There are um, also the, the black toner, if it's high yield, uh, this black toner was high yield, and that is pretty good. These were different color uh, toners, and uh, it just, I'm surprised that I haven't sold all of them. I've sold a good number of them, but not all of them yet. Um, one guy bought two. One guy bought two and said, be sure to box them up together. Yeah. And uh, generally, you know, the way we had it set up was uh, ground advantage. What we like to do is this. We'll wrap it good with bubble wrap. Throw them in a poly, form fit the poly to the box so it looks like a padded box. And that has worked throughout the time we've sold toner and no one's ever complained. But this guy bought two and said box it up uh, with extra padding. So I don't know what this guy was doing. Maybe he was drop shipping it. Who knows? Um but we, we went along with it. I ended up paying about another uh, 6 or $7 in shipping because it increased the size of the box. And eBay does calculated multi-quantity items wrong. They All they simply do is they don't understand that a 10 by 10 by 10 is for one box, right? But if you sell two of them, it's no longer 10 by 10 by 10. It's 10 by 10 by 20 if you stack them. All they do is add the weight. So if it's a two pound box, they say it's four pounds with the old dimensions. Well, a lot of these uh, like ground advantage, they look at the dimensions. FedEx uses the dimensions and that is just as important as the weight when it comes to figuring out the price. So because they didn't have the proper dimensions in there, uh, and this is a fairly large toner cartridge that we sold not one, but two of, it was uh, um, kind of sticker shock for me. And of course, with FedEx, you can't just throw them in a bubble mailer and a poly bag, can you? No. Okay. Just want to make sure you remember that. I remember. This one. Don't don't throw me under a bus. <laughs> Good God. What about a moped? Because we I made minus a dollar fifty on a brand new pair of roller skates that eBay had charged me. $15 to ship and we bought it through eBay because it was cheaper than our FedEx rate. So we bought the FedEx label and this is when I wasn't here. It was, uh, I think I was out and about sourcing or something and Jenna did the shipping and she ran the label. So she ran the FedEx label and she had forgotten that you cannot, you have to ship the FedEx item in a box. You cannot poly mail or poly bag it. And as a result, they charged me another 30 something dollars and made me negative on the sale over and above what the shipping that are. It's like they're they're dinging you a fee for shipping it that way. And I understand. I, I learned my lesson many years ago about this. But they're also charging you full retail and no longer giving you the eBay discount when adjustments made on the on the shipping. So uh, learn from our mistake. It was certainly and there's another there's a video I'm going to make here probably tonight or tomorrow that's going to talk about another situation where you guys need to be careful about with FedEx buying FedEx labels on eBay. 
Uh, Media Man, Madman says, hey, all from Aussie, 32 weekend sales for me, including five internationals. Well, there you go. I like to hear that kind of thing. Uh, Maya says, hello, I had a good sales weekend about to cancel an unpaid item on an international buyer on eBay because they haven't paid and I can't send an invoice. Don't understand why this is still happening. Yeah, they won't let allow you to send an invoice on an international buyer because uh, eBay International Shipping Program has is supposedly handling it on your behalf. But obviously, they're not doing a very good job of that. Um, if if the buyer still hasn't paid, um, and unfortunately, it could be something that is preventing them from getting it shipped to. The, maybe they have an incomplete address at checkout, and eBay can't do anything with it. Uh, wondering if you've reached out to eBay, I can tell you that it's been better lately to get a hold of someone. Um, did get a hold of someone in, uh, I believe it was in Colombia. And uh, is this light flickering behind me? I think my light's going out again. So my yes. light is crazy. Yes. It has that shorted, that shorted cable. So that's why it might be turning on and off on its own. Devon says, I had one sale over the weekend, and then they canceled. And we oh, had, a, we we had, had one. two cancels. Two? I thought we had the one. We had two. We had somebody bought the Steve Madden backpack. Okay. Did and they? immediately canceled right after. So we just sold another toner. Sweet. So, so we got a genuine toner. I don't want to dox the guy. I didn't know his address isn't there. So, yeah, $58 sale plus shipping. Happy for that. Uh, we're creeping up towards $600 today on the main store, so we're happy. Big Dre says, well, that's sweet, John. Can't beat that. I'd buy them $1 all day. I usually pay between $3 and $5 on shirts. Yeah. And um, we got a really good haul. Hold on. Be Where are you going? I'm going to play show and tell. Oh, he's going to play show and tell. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get a new cord for this, um, for this light. Why not? I want to see what you guys think. I am not a clothing buyer, and I sell clothes, but I'm not really a clothing seller. Now, she decided that this was a good idea. We bought those camo. Um, Somebody will they're already that. bagged. Dollar. I know this hats. It's like you know, um, why hats? Uh, we bought four of these for sixty bucks, and this is a Seattle Seahawks. Richard Sherman. It's Nike. See the Nike uh, logo on there. Um, these other ones are Russell Wilson, and they, these are like a, a Those man. Are women's. This, this is a women's. Yeah, and this is a Nike. He's still a legend, I guess you'd say, in Seattle. Here's the green colorway Wilson. I guess that's the women's. Yeah, right? that's women's. And we have another Russell Wilson men's in the blue colorway. And I uh, got all four of them in great condition, 60 bucks. Uh, same yard sale, uh, Seattle um, uh, Seattle Seahawks, long sleeve for a dollar. Picked this up, sure it'll sell. Picked it up for a dollar. Patagonia needs to get a little wrinkle action taken out, but yeah. dollar there. She picked up a Patagonia hat. They had it for five. They didn't charge us five though. They said okay. or one dollar. So a Patagonia hat, trucker style. Uh, what is this? I don't know. This was kind of different. I don't know what that is. I just picked it up as a dollar. It's a fishing shirt. Oh. Real life. Oh, fuck. I guess you can dollar your way out of out of profit if you keep just picking up stuff for a buck. Here's another Seahawks shirt. I picked these up. I thought they were worth a dollar, at least worth, they were a good quality, these shorts. Hmm. What was that I don't know. Watkins? Bit, bit Bitto's. Bitto's. Pretty good quality material. The screen is going blurry every time yeah? you do that. That's good. This one's a Under Armour. You can see the, maybe you can't. An Under Armour logo on the back. Under Armour. Long sleeve plaid shirt and I almost think that's a woman's but I, you never really see that how about Carhartt they had Carhartt t-shirts yeah dollar so 
who here would walk away from the the Carhartts? And I'm sure there's one or two that many would have passed in the stuff that we bought. What is this? Carhartt. Oh, this is a North Face. Oh, North Face. So dollar here, dollar there. And I think we picked up. Here's that her those Hurley, the Hurley branded. I don't think you can see it. And my light went out behind me, didn't it? It's flickering. On and and off. Nike Dry Fit. It's like a collab, I guess they call that. Because I didn't yeah. think Hurley and Nike uh, sold clothes together. So that's me playing show and tell. And this light's going to drive me crazy if it keeps mm -hmm. going on and off. But it's uh, drive everyone crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to mess with it here if it keeps going. So what do you guys think of that? Would you guys buy those for a dollar a piece? Ping G says, Maya, with EIS, you cannot send an invoice. You cannot. And Maya opted out of EIS, though. So, are, Maya, are you doing it uh, on your own with international setup, which is what I would recommend doing, uh, maybe buying your international labels through uh, Pirate Ship. Samantha Hunter says, good evening, John, Jenna. Uh, Jenna, you look stunning as always. John, very interested in your intro. Please explain. Thank you. Um, now we're talking about my intro. We're talking intro. about what we were talking about at the beginning about the uh, the eBay pay it forward or uh, the eBay it forward, not pay it forward. Uh, it's just a focus. eBay is uh, possibly going to be focusing more on the uh, customer to customer to see to see transactions, which is your non new seasonal items, which is most of us. It's just you're shaking your head. I'm shaking my head at Scott. No, it was not oh. my fault that the podcast was put up late. I had I have nothing to do with the podcast. Nothing, I, nothing. I you know what? Sometimes I'm in a total rush when I do everything. And again, Josh uh, Galt, I don't know if he's here with this, but he can attest to the fact that this has happened before on the uh, on the, uh, the Power Hour that I have I selected the wrong day. So eBay likes to, not eBay YouTube likes to select the day. Uh, the next day, usually, depending on when you're uploading a video. And it, I just selected the wrong day. I had it selected for Sunday upload, and we went out and did the yard sale. We weren't even home, oblivious to it. And the thing didn't upload till we got home. So any of you guys wondering it about Sunday, that. But it was Saturday. Well, it was set up for Sunday. But oh, on oh. Saturday, we came home and realized it didn't launch. Actually, uh, Mike, well, Mike Camparelli, thank oh. you, buddy, uh, reached out and said, hey, it's not here. What happened? And I'm like, oh, no. So um, it's happened. I just have to be more careful. You know, it's just me. Uh, Andy Reno says, Indiana in the house. Hey, John, you'll never guess what I got on a pickup. What did you get on a pickup? I'm sure you'll, I, I'm not going to be able to guess. You got Golf a, clubs? You got a PlayStation? I don't know. Uh, a Santa, toilet seat. Oh, geez. Uh, a moist toilet seat. Maybe that. Come on. Sammy Hall says, hey, everyone. Thanks for being here, Sammy. Um, Maya says, I checked and I'm not enrolled in EIS. I still get sales from international buyers. They just use freight forwarders. I don't have an issue with it as long as they pay. And that's different. So that's not an international sale. That's a domestic sale. And uh, sometimes you have to go in and fix the address. So their long single line address that has their, uh, I guess, customer number, you got to put on line two for it to, to work. But yes, uh, we get a lot of those as well. Jimmy D says, currently doing inventory on a 2,700 item store about halfway through. Guess how many items I found not listed on eBay so far? 32. He said zero. Oh. Yeah. Well, wow, I wish I wish you luck. Yeah. I wish you luck. Um, that's amazing. You know, uh, eBay, from what I understand, after it's deemed to be very, very stale of the listing, they'll just not list it again. And... Um, it's like, well, thanks for the heads up. And I don't know if it's built into the equation or if it's just a glitch that's doing it. But uh, when you find enough of those kind of items that aren't even listed for sale, it's annoying. Yeah. Maya says there are two feedback buyers, so I doubt they'll answer. I just don't get why they can't make a buyer pay when they accept an offer sent to them. They had to get on the app or site to click accept. Right. I agree. But it could be also that they have a with their well they're, let's say they what's to stop someone from using a gift card as the, mm. the payment method that's in there maybe there's a five dollar balance and they see that there's a balance on there but they don't do an actual balance to check that it has enough money in the account 
to cover the transaction. And then when it comes to actually run the charge, it don't work because they only have five bucks in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Maya, this was an offer sent to watchers. Mm -hmm. Uh, drummer says good catch mm -hmm. and bearded pokey tubers. I remember this commercial. So, okay. So that, that certainly is a 2021 commercial. Maybe I, I just, well, we also don't watch television and I also have premium so on the YouTube. So we I don't, don't see a lot of commercials no. and that's such a beautiful thing. It is. Uh, I wish I had it. Well, we'll have to set it up. YouTube. You have to remind me basket noodle says, so there are saying seasonal inventories listed set up about 500 billion. There's no way eBay is going to sell 500 billion Walmart. They're not. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's what they said. So, um, you know, they have a, a tendency to fluff up things, fluff up numbers, fluff up uh, different uh, outcomes with their quarterly earnings and all that and interpretations. Uh, the thrifty loon says I made it. Yay! Well, thanks for being here. And uh, simplifies eBay's ads crack me up. They do. They're so cheesy. So cheesy, but they don't even follow their own. I know uh, their own ridiculous. rules. If what was her name, Brenda, who bought the tent, if <laughs> she said, well, she wasn't going to be able to use it anymore, and she just threw that tent into a box, but she sold it with a a stock photo, I'm cool with it because mm -hmm. I don't expect Brenda to go set that tent up in her backyard to take a photo. But eBay's according to the policy isn't cool with it yet. The example they used was a stock photo. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy D says, mother of all F ups here. Oh. Sold a set Callaway uh, kids golf club shipped from central Texas to Louisiana. Did not notice they were left-handed. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's a slight, uh, slight yeah. detail that you, you want to make sure you're <laughs> on top of. A... So that might come back, but with the photos, did the buyer notice it? They had to have. I mean, if you're a golfer and you're looking at golf clubs and you see that it's the wrong orientation, you're not going to buy it. So hopefully well, they saw it and realized it was left-handed. Yeah, maybe they maybe they noticed. And, and maybe it's time to make your kids, you know what? We know you're right, right-handed, <laughs> but we're going to teach you how to hit this damn thing left-handed. Um, pick uh, Big Trace has picked up a couple of Honda racing shirts on the weekend for 12 bucks. Comps are $50 each. And sold a movie themed shirt for sixty dollars that I paid for twenty bucks for because I figured it would flip quick. There you go. Nice. Uh, Wiggy Q says, Wiggy! "Hey, it's been a while for me. Glad to be back. Well, we're glad to nice. have you back." Nice. Uh, the Thrifty Loon says, "I love my reselling team at FAE. I we, love you. We love you guys too. You yeah. guys are awesome." Uh, Ping G says, "The only eBay ad I've seen is for authentic authenticity guarantee. Yeah. I've seen a lot of eBay Motors." Um, like some of the podcasts, I was watching the, uh, an Angels baseball podcast, and uh, they're like, yeah, our, our, our sponsor of the day is eBay Motors, where you get that guaranteed fit. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Hmm. Um, well, let's hope that this executive leaving the company allows Jamie, maybe, you know, I mean, if you're the CEO, you're going to have the final say. So why would another executive stop you from doing what you think is right for the company? But hopefully that extra voice in the room saying, no, we don't want C to C um, items. We want to focus on these featured categories. Maybe not having that extra voice in the boardroom will uh, allow them to be more focused on the other part of the mission, which they haven't even bothered messing with yet. And who in the world is at the door? Did both carriers come? Yeah. So... Ah, sorry, guys. I only thought it was going to happen twice. Uh, Drummer says, is this the best they can do? Well, that was the best they could do in 2021. Um, I will take that. I mean, I'm fine with bad actors. I'm fine with them violating their own policies in the, 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 the bit. I just want exposure. I want buyers to, to realize, oh, I can buy this on eBay. Oh, okay. Well, heck, I didn't know I could buy a tent on eBay. I didn't know I could buy a vase on eBay or a can't, uh, canter, uh, decanter. So um, that's that's a step in the right direction. Return? Yes. Yes. So that's not a that's not a prank return. It's not a tire. And, and it's funny. Meatballs. It's funny when they come and pick up the mail, they can't just drop off the return. I think he just maybe forgot. OK. Um, let's see. Wiggy Q. We got Q or Wiggy Q says for vintage collectibles, I for sure have felt forgotten and left behind. Yeah. Uh, Paul Rose is not bad, but where's the ideas for memorabilia collectibles ads used or not? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better than nothing though, right? 
Um, Victor Wawiorka says eBay destroyed uh, most every antique collectible category. Uh, they didn't put themselves in a good position to compete, though, right? So it's like three lost years of not competing with Etsy uh, and other other platforms that they've allowed pretty much to steal some of their market share. Uh, Kent says it's over. Let's all boycott, please. If we could all, every YouTube viewer watching eBay content, of course, we only represent like 5% of everyone, I would guess, that's watching eBay content. But if every youtuber that watches ebay content banded together and just either stop selling on ebay stop using promoted stop something it would still be like 10 percent, maybe 20 percent of all uh resellers there's a lot of resellers out there who don't watch videos who are on ebay island that have no idea that we're upset for whatever reason or sellers are upset want to band together and only those sellers who are not watching the videos would be rewarded with our sales. So that's not going to work. Samantha Hunter says, I'm not mad at the ads. Uh, it's letting the buyers know that used and good items can be purchased with eBay. I, I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the way they do it, they, they how, I mean, nobody's shipping an item that fast. Okay. So no one's dropping their tent in a box. <laughs> the, 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 the bubble wrap doesn't magically show up in the box. And then they're just hitting the flap and then they're tape two pieces of eBay tape and boom, it's ready to go. <laughs> it ain't that fast, but you know what? I guess it's better for them to make it look easy than to not give any information at all. Basket noodle says, so sounds like eBay at forward is to get average folks to list stuff. They don't want basically more competition, mm -hmm. but not only more competition, but it will lead to more buyers. I, if it leads to more buyers saying, Hey, I can buy that on eBay. Okay, then I'm good with that. Mad Hatter says, what percentage of items on eBay for sale do you think are used versus new? A ah, that's very a tough large question. percentage. Maybe 60 used, 40% new. Maybe it's a, a larger percentage of used. Uh, I mean, there's so many used items on eBay. Paul Rose says, still to date, all I've seen used is for motors and authentication. Yeah. Uh, Samantha Hunter says, let's not shoot the brainstorming going on in the boardroom. I mean, I'm good with it, but the thing is, if one person is holding up, so you bring someone from Walmart and they're like, okay, I've got fresh ideas. They fall in the line with half of what Jamie wants to do, but I really don't think it works with uh, C to C sales and, um, non new seasonal items. Well then, and you have enough influence on that that CEO, then they're going to just focus on, you know, especially if you bring plans to implement that to the table and uh, that person not being in the room anymore, maybe that will, I mean, I like where um, the article is going with it. So and when did this person leave? Recently, the last few weeks, I believe that was part of the cuts or it was somewhere around the time where they cut people um, for me. Well, well, I think it's, it's kind of encouraging, right? because you're getting at rid of someone who is only focusing on the high ticket, big sellers, you know, the, the watches, the shoes, the handbags, whatever. And maybe Jamie is finally seeing the feedback of the smaller sellers with the vintage and the collectibles and the, all the things that we want them to talk about it could quite possibly be a really good thing for eBay. A lot of good things for us. Well, if it changes their course. So let's, let's hope that happens here. If, if Jamie had a vision and let's say he's still in the implementation of the first half of that vision, which is the, are the featured categories. Well, they've already done that. So they they haven't talked about introducing any more. They've, put those uh, authentication processes into place and with eBay Motors guaranteed fit into place. So all these things are in place. So the next step logically would be part two of this vision. And if that happens, as this article says that it looks like it should, then that's good news, I think, for all of us. Uh, Andre Squaw says, so are they going back to that strategy or is this just an article pointing out that abandoning it was a mistake? Um, it, it was just an article saying that now that this person has left the company, this Jay, her name is last name is Jay. 
Stephanie, Stephanie J. I uh, I never trust someone with two first names, by the way. I, I, the way I look at it <laughs> in life, if you have two first names, I don't, I look at you kind of, I double take, <laughs> I don't really trust you. Um, so to me, uh, I, I've always looked at it like that. If, if I'm, uh, even playing fantasy it's football, not their fault. I, that's they're I not, they're given name by their parents. Uh, yeah. But it's not uh, something funny about you're, that. You're weird. <laughs> What's new? I think the audience can agree with you there, yeah. but, but, uh, if you have two first names, it's kind of weird. If you're a man with two, like, uh, uh, two female first names as your full name. Give us an example. Like uh, Kelly Joyce. I don't even know a Kelly Joyce, but that would be like, okay, what's going on here? I just, I'm weird like that. Samantha Hunter says it's hopeful, promising, and encouraging. And that's yeah. all we can do, right? We could see these articles and try to see the silver lining and to be encouraged. Yeah. Um, Dark Horse Productions says, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Zowie Wowie, dude. Zowie Wowie. Yeah, Zowie Wowie. Uh, Devon Short says, please hit the thumbs up for your eBay sale. I I wholeheartedly agree. Yes. Uh, Dark Horse Productions says, my bad. It's Wowie Zowie. Forgive me and Rip Bra Bray Wyatt. I have no idea what you're talking about. Bray I have no idea who that is. No idea. Um, Bearded Poketuber says, damn, hit the like and made a sale within 30 seconds. Yes. I, I mean, heck, I even got someone's sale. Uh, oh, I got a, I got an email from someone saying we didn't receive this. So okay, that's another issue oh, I got to deal Jesus. with. Uh, the Mad Scientist, forty cases. My month was the best ever, but I think it's because I found a new niche. But you made a change. You're willing to take a risk, and you found something that you didn't know before, right? I read that comment as my mouth instead of my month. Oh, and that boy. could have something to do with moist, right? Oh my God! Just saying. Um, uh, Paul Rose is on the herb and ting. <laughs> uh, bearded picker, and there's that message again. Uh, says, "Well, I didn't say." Oh my God! Uh, and we'll move on, Thank and you. we'll move on. And gifts for all. It says hi for all from uk hello well, thank you it's kind of late there right now but thank you for being uh with us what, and like making hours? this making this your late night show i think no i think it's like about midnight if i'm not mistaken uh almost midnight uh, duncan vr says oops i late i overslept stayed up last night working ebay sales going okay at present happy tuesday okay well bet okay is better than not. And I think I think it's like 7 a.m., maybe 8 a.m. over in, in I Australia. Know. I know it's early. Uh, Nick says, yes, I see the listings on all three platforms. but not sure what to do from there. I yeah. cannot select the match button. Hopefully um, they will be able. I have not seen Michelle in the chat. Have you been able to uh, send them an email? They're pretty good about getting back to you pretty quick. Uh, Mike says, that lot was all high-end AV goods. The big sale was Kaleidoscope Strato S 4K media player. Wow. MSRP was $8,000. Other sale was a TrendNet gigabit network switch. Still have plenty of stock left. Wow. I love that's that. That's great. That's that's awesome. Uh, Samantha Hunter says, John and Jenna, please forgive me if this is a nosy question. Just being familiar, do you guys do vacation with your family in the summer months, or can we expect you to be with us through summer, spring and summer? Okay. Yeah. So we don't normally take extended periods of time off. Yeah. Um, however, we do take little trips here and there um, because our family, most of almost all of our family is in California. Mm -hmm. And so we will make a trip, whether it be for a weekend or for four days or or the longest I think we've ever stayed away was like maybe four days. Um, Probably in June, I will be gone for more than a week, but he will re he refuses to be gone for longer than four or five, maybe five days. And that's pushing it. And that's only if there's golf involved. Mm -hmm. So he will be going on a trip in May. May 1st. Well, May. It's, it's the uh, yeah the beginning of May. So. Um, we do little trips here and there, but because um, our youngest son has moved to Texas, he's no longer our dog babysitter. And so we have to either only one of us go or we have to bring the dogs with us. And they are not good travelers. 
Yeah, and kennel's not an option. These guys are not the socialized not. animals. We have one dog that likes to like hoard everything, and he just wouldn't get along. I think he would end up getting his butt kicked. Well, yeah, he's. <laughs> I think saying. he would get his. Yeah, I, I think he would get this. Yeah, butt we'd get a but phone call. Anyway, yes, it. we do do trips here and there. Last year was probably the most trips we've ever taken in one year. You know, with the October, we went to Cincinnati, um, Christmas, all those things. But we don't ever do like a long, long extended vacation. No. And then dudes boot sales says hi. hi. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, you say boots. I want to know what your website is. Samantha Hunter says, uh, "What what do you guys like to do for the summer months? I mean, it's so hot here. Yeah. So we we try to stay cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, we in the evenings we'll go play, go places. I mean, that's the thing about Vegas. It's there's so much to do if you want to do it, like mm -hmm. shows and. Um, but generally, if we're like sightseeing, we do it this time of year um, or in the fall when yeah. things start to cool down. Like okay. our our. Um, one of our other sons, he is going to be coming out with his family. Um, they were supposed to come next weekend, but they can't. So next uh, month, they're going to come out so that we can go hiking up. What's the name of that place? Uh, what, Valley of Fire? Valley of Fire. Yeah. Um, and you definitely don't want to do hiking in the summer months. Oh, no, it's too hot. <laughs> uh, and then Dude Boot Sales says, Sherry F. and Sean F. I'm sure that means female, right? Here, sisters. Nice. Right. Well, thanks for being here. I really want to know your store. Your she store. likes blingy boots. Hey, I want. I saw some boots. And she's bought boots for these concerts that she's been going to. And I, I take it. See, this is the hesitation. It's like, okay, fine, buy your boots. But I knew she's gonna want more. So there's never enough shoes and boots hey, and purses I've worn and those makeup boots. and. Um, quite a few, many times. I wore them to the wedding that I was just at. I've worn them to all the concerts, everything. But there are a pair of boots that I'm really, really looking for. And uh, as we change subjects, EVS says, thanks, Jenna. Off topic, I'm going with the gray flooring. Yay. Five others agreed. So consensus, yes, gray flooring, Neptune gray. Yay. I, like I gray. think it's, <clears throat> excuse me. I think it's going to look beautiful. That's a really pretty gray. I like it. Am I the only one in the world that can say, if you was to ask them, what is your favorite color? It would be gray. Why is that? It's not because of my hair. It's not because of Silver Fox. It's not because of anything like that. It's, you know what? We made a trip to Seattle um, years ago. And there's this artist that they were painting these paintings. And um, their background and backdrop was gray. And it made everything in the in the pictures pop. And remember that. you remember that? No. That was at, um, um, darn it. Where's that famous wharf? Um, the, mar the market? The Yeah, yeah. The it's, it's, yeah, we were looking at all that stuff that they had there. That's really and not a color, though. It's, like, gray it's a is, color, I mean, it's a color, but it's like, Okay, ugh. so we see cars, and I'm like, oh, I like that car. What, what it's usually, a very distinct what gray, is, though. What is, it's, it's a like a matte. Or a charcoal gray, like a, like a mid to, mid to dark gray. I don't know. I just, it always catches my eye. And I'm, I, you guys see that I like gray. I wear gray and stuff all the time. I'm just weird. I guess well, I'm the only you, person on earth that likes gray. When we first met, he told me that his favorite color was Hunter green. Yeah. But you, you know, your, and your likes change. That's changed. Uh, Patricia says the 2021 eBay at Ford ads were created, but not used. Yeah. I don't remember seeing those before. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Duncan, if I ever went to Vegas, I would expect burgers and try Jenna's cooking. Oh no, you don't, <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> That's rude. That's I didn't rude. say it. I'm just, I'm just appreciating the comments. No, your laughter tells many oh, tales. Oh. That's rude. Uh, no, um, I will cook for you, but it certainly won't be what you were expecting. Dude's boot says uh, we usually watch you on the projector while we work. Oh well, that's my gosh, that's yeah, that's, that's too large. <laughs> um, Andy Somet is here. I don't I have no idea what he's trying to say, but then I think I know what he's trying to oh. say. Uh, Patricia, the ads were what? filmed. <laughs> what the heck? Is that what you bought? Well, you see what that is, right? I, I do. Okay, well, why would anyone buy that? No, remember, didn't he say he bought? Was that Andy? No. No, that was no, the other that Andy. That was the other Andy. Okay. You're getting things mixed. You're making yeah, I'm, stories up I'm now. I'm getting mixed up. Patricia says the ads were filmed in uh, Scan 
Scandinavia and uh, notably feature young prospective resellers. Yeah, okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, Bearded Picker says, IHOP sucks. It's not a Waffle House. Get it straight, Jenna. I got to tell it's you. It's not IHOP. There's I've, no action. It's called Waffle, waffle something. I've been to a Waffle House and I'm it not ain't so hot. Waffle House. Waffle House ain't it's so hot. It's a family-owned restaurant that is a Waffle Waffle House place. ain't very good. I'm telling you right now. I'd rather have I I've never than been house. to Waffle House. Waffle House is just horrible. Wait, didn't we go to the wa Chicken and Waffles in LA? That's different. That's okay. like Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I'm yeah. not talking about that. I'm talking about Waffle House. I don't know what I've when never been When you're in the there. South, Never when you're in the, the south, south, you can give direct. You don't even need ways. You don't even need Google Maps to give directions. You basically tell the person, go five Waffle Houses down. Uh, <laughs> go down five Waffle Houses, make a left, and go past the third Popeyes, and it'll be on the right. That's how you give directions in the wow. south. Yeah, no, I've never been to a Waffle House. Um, Samantha says, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. I went to Coney Island, the Prospect Zoo, things like that. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and he's living the life with his... With his broccoli and fire? No, with his... Mm. Yeah, he's living the life. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Mike Seller says, not yet, but I haven't left the house today. 40 mile an hour oh, winds. We know that feeling. I don't like the winds. Our winds are horrible. Uh, EBS is early bird at yard sales equals show up hours before to get the first look at stuff. Oh, but no. here's the problem. We got there on time. And, and these people are just getting out of bed. They're putting the table out. They're rolling their, their tubs of stuff out. And it's like, am I going to sit around for this or am I going to go to the next one? So we may have missed a handful of yard sales just from the people who didn't get it set up. Yeah, because it was kind of pathetic. We were, I mean, it was now like 715 and there's people still trying to pull stuff out of their garage. Well, Andy, uh, Andy says, hopefully I get a superpower that turns me into a good eBay seller. Um, well, put it, put this away and <laughs> that will help right there. That'll, that's half your problem. Uh, EVS says uh, early bird you at yard sales. It. Okay. Well, I agree. Um, uh, <laughs> sweet or savory waffle. I've not had one for uh, ages. Ha used to love the ones at seaside loads of cream and Ooh, strawberries. That sounds so good. Okay. We need to stop with the waffles. Uh, uh well, you might want to. Uh, Kent says Wanda ain't going to do garage sales. No, well, she was, well, and, she and you saw the stuff. She, she was wasn't selling. an attendee. She I was... swear it must have been her twin sister if she has one. Samantha Hunter okay. says I personally called Raid and told them to return the lab and get something strong from down here. They sent me a coupon. I think that was part of conversation. Oh, okay. I didn't... Well, I didn't mean to put your business out there like that. <laughs> uh, Andy says, "Isn't Wanda Sykes part of the View?" I thought no. little chickens they can't. No, no, that she's a comedian, no, but she does shows in Vegas. Yeah, she's actually kind of funny. Samantha says, "John, Sometimes. I don't hear you speak of auctions." Yeah, we don't. I mean, as far as are you talking about auctions on eBay auctions well, or considering what this not is auctions? an eBay podcast, and we're no, not it's just reselling, okay. not just eBay. Uh, Nature Made in Utah says, "I just promoted at thirty percent after raising my prices at forty percent. Just testing the waters for a week or so. Hmm. That's." You, so you promoted 30, but you raised it to 40. Ultimately, though, the buyer Raised is going to prices at yeah, 40. Yeah, yeah. So if you have a hundred dollar item, you're going to make it 140. Um, but you're you're giving eBay a solid 43% of that 140. I mean, the math is there for you, but it's still probably not going to be there for the buyer. They're they're looking for a deal. And ultimately you're giving them you're giving them no discount yeah a 10 percent discount off of what you would do if you didn't promote but still i think that may not be a deep enough discount on the buyer's end for them to, to pull the trigger samantha says do you like to auction off items no i do not mm -hmm. uh we have rihanna and says hey hey thanks hey, for being rihanna. here uh mj uh hopefully not the executive who left uh, ebay but you're flipping out ain't easy neon sign is ready to crap out it is i could see it flickering <laughs> Yeah, it's not the sign, it's the it's the wiring. And yeah. it needs to be in a certain position. And if something gets moved and it knocks it out. So I, yeah. Even if nothing gets moved, nothing's being we moved. We might have to get another one. I just I think that's it's just you're never gonna be able to replace it the way it is. So yeah. Um bearded Poketuber says if you raise prices forty percent, you probably won't be selling very much either. That's kind of my thought. It's you know, I have a I have a ten percent markdown sale. And I have a 10% coupon. I do kind of consider those things when I'm pricing my item, knowing that a 
$70 items going to actually come down to uh, $66. No, no, $56 or ish, maybe $57 um, in that ballpark. So that's kind of where I need to, in my mind, um, think that items going to sell. And in may, many cases, it makes it competitive. If I just list it without the markdown sell and without the coupon, I'm probably not as competitive as I'd like to be. And that's running at uh, anywhere between 8 and 10% promoted lilac sellers has got an email from ebay today saying they canceled the recent sale for buyer and seller safety sale was from cookbooks i sold in august of 2023 what the heck well does that mean you're gonna get your fees back <laughs> um wow the mad scientist 40k says yep that's how you do yard sales how much for all of it yep and you know you so you want to analyze and you want to just look at it you know kind of get in your mind um Another tactic I use is, and I was telling her about it, is I see something I really want, right? But I know that if I ask about that first, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to, to get the price I'm looking for. I'm, I want to gauge the seller before I start asking about the things I care about. So I'll find something that I'm really not interested in and I'll say, how much for this, whatever. And oh, $10. And I know it should be five. Well, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time even asking about the item I want. You know, if they're way overpriced and you everything else. do that else, quite often on Saturday. I do. And that's, I'm not going to waste my time trying to haggle with someone who's stuck. Like I, I went up to this guy. He had a PlayStation 2 with like five mm -hmm. or six games. He had two controllers. He was sitting in a little box in front of him. And I'm sure he had his yard sale going for two hours before he got there. I'm like, well, how much for the game system? $100. My price is firm. Uh, I don't haggle and I won't piece it out. Bye, bye bye. Um, I just sold a PlayStation. <laughs> this is a PlayStation, not two, it was a PlayStation 3. I'm sorry. And uh, I just sold the PlayStation 4 with five games, two controllers for $190 plus shipping. There's not enough meat on that bone for me to, to give them 100 bucks for that system. Craig Winan says, Hi, all. Uh, finally got moved and settled in and mm -hmm. relisting in the 80% of my store. I ended. Oh, there nice. you go. That's nice. the, that's the, congratulations on the new house. That's the thing about moving, you know, you get settled in. It's like yeah. time to get back to work, right? Yeah. Uh, Nature Made in Utah says, I'm afraid of selling ink or toner. Last time I did, the buyer said it wasn't any good. I can only find expired ink, can't find the expiration date on the toner. So, certain brands, I believe Canon is 10 years, but if you go and look it up, HP uh, states on their website that their toner doesn't have an expiration date as long as it's still in the sealed uh, foil pouch that's inside the box. If you're selling a brand new toner um, and they're saying it's dried out, chances are you're dealing with a swap out. So what I would do when I buy these pallets of toner is sometimes you get the, the box that's open, the pouch is still sealed, right? So you take the pouch and you weigh it and you get, okay, this is what a new toner weighs for this model, this brand. And I kept the spreadsheet and I had like, 40 or 50 different types of toner that I had data on. And so when someone would send it back, I'd weigh it with the pouch. Even if they've opened it, still put the pouch and the toner on the scale. And if it was a um, lower amount than what it was before, then that tells me they swapped it out for their old one. So I think I watched a video. It was another reseller. I don't know who or when or what, but they said something about toner doesn't ever expire. So... I don't know how true that is, but well, well, so, well most brands it's uh, it, it expires like after 10 years uh, the way HP does it, they put it in the sealed pouches. So it keeps it fresh. As long as you keep it in a good climate controlled area, it doesn't, it doesn't go bad. Um, Kent says I ship ton on poly bags, not one uncharged, but see, the thing is with FedEx, uh, they allow you to ship poly bags up to a five inch, five inches thick on the poly. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, then that they, they, they still will deliver your item, but they will hit you with the surcharge. And uh, it's a, a video I put out years ago. I learned that lesson. I learned that lesson. Um, the hard way. Yes. And I learned it again for you. Shut your um, Cernox Connection says, never had an issue with FedEx with poly bags. I've sent hundreds of shoes using the FedEx label from eBay. Um, I got to tell you, it's, um, I, we sat down and had a meeting with a, uh, a rep and I told them that story and they showed me in their policies that they do adjust their, their labels whenever, um, someone uses something that's not cardboard. 
course, you can put tape over the cardboard, but if you're using poly mailer, using garbage bag, using uh, any kind of film over the, the box and it's over five inches thick, um, the package, uh, then they do not allow that at the rates that they're giving and i'm just telling you what they told us and, and like like he said it's only after it's up over a certain what you said five inches yeah so keep that in mind and i and i and i can show you guys right now the we uh, got, the we message got that ebay hard. sent me um the ebay message that was sent to me and it was like what in the world um because it uh let's see if i can if i could show it to you guys i mean it's uh, here it is. Um, is this the wrong one? Yes, it is. Of course, I'm always signed in your account. But um, I'm telling you guys, it's an email you don't expect to get. When you get get it, you're like, man, this sucks. Because, you know, you're not even giving me, you're not even passing on the eBay discount anymore. You're giving me full retail on this, this label and you're causing me to lose money. And it shouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll show it to you guys right here. Um, I'll present the screen. Where is it? Right here. So here's the message that I got. And this is the one. Cost adjustment, $31.80. I hope it doesn't show no address information here. Okay. So um, here's the information. Cost breakdown. This is what they did to me. So look at this. They tried to say the reason was because the package was reported as eight dollar uh, eight point six pounds, and I reported nine pounds on the label, so I did it right. The billable weight was nine pounds. Um, not sure. Uh, this was a pair of roller skates, by the mm -hmm. way. Okay, and normally we ship the, the roller skates this way with the 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 bubble mailer or the the not bubble mailer, but with the bubble wrap and then the poly over it form fitted to the box. We shipped that by ground advantage. I don't know what happened. She shipped it FedEx. I don't know what I was thinking. I obviously wasn't when I was doing it yeah. and I wasn't paying attention. So the label's 15 I know it and I believe me, it's a hard lesson we learned a couple years ago, but I don't know. I was not focused or something. So the label is 15.99. This was going to from here to, to California, well, actually South Carolina. Okay. 15.99. And they slapped $31.80 on it for a total of $47.79. Absolutely absurd. Hey, they gave me a discount, $12.27, to get that $47.79. Come on. Wow. They charged me $28 for additional handling over the $15.99. Well, actually, it's, I don't know, postage, $22.07, fuel. So this is where they slap all these charges on there to make it $47.09. It's totally unfair, and it shouldn't happen. Now... You contact eBay, and I didn't contact about this one because I figured it had nothing to do with the weight. It had everything to do with the poly mailer because of my previous experience, and that's the only way I will send these. Um, so we didn't even say anything. Uh, the other one that we got in this batch, they charged me $12 over because I reported 8 pounds, and the actual package was 7.8 pounds. That was reported by FedEx. Yeah. So that made no sense at all. So. I don't know. What do you guys do? You guys just take it on the chin or what? Uh, that's kind of what we did. Well, that's kind of what we did. No, no. Oops. Get Stop rid of sharing. I'm trying to, but this stupid thing isn't working. Okay, it's here we go. Here we go. Um, rookie mistake there. Uh, so Kent says, I've shipped plenty of FedEx and poly bags, not one issue. Well, then you've lucked out um, because the, the they, can, they tell you in the policy, I've had people at FedEx try to refuse me from shipping a package I had shipped that way. And they told me that I was going to get hit with a fee. And I, and I actually did. Yeah. Uh, Paul Rose has got a message from eBay last week saying a heater I bought in December may have a safety issue bit, bit late. Now <laughs> I have yeah. a, a, uh, issue with USPS where they sent me a certified letter and I'm going to make a video about that rather than to get into the weeds on that here. But, uh, there's just a lot of weird things happening with shipping. It's just, uh, it's really, really, uh, now here we have this again for real guru alert. What does that mean? What does guru alert mean? Apparently Cernok is, is the guru. Is Cernok the guru? I don't know. We're, we're trying to figure this out and you guys won't come clean with it. What does it mean? Uh, Nick says FedEx does have a bubble mailer. They supply 
So do they not accept bubble mailer uh, poly bags at all if they are flat or what? Yes, five inches. Five inches. Five inches is, only. Yes. And that's, you know, sat down, had a dinner with the rep. He's showing me the policies. He's like, I can only promise you this, that 95% of the time you will not see another surcharge from us over and above what we quote on our site, provided that you use cardboard when you're shipping these items. If you use anything else, anything can happen because it's against our policy. And he showed me the policy. So And we changed the way we did shipping and we've not had an issue again until Jenna's, you know, blonde dummy didn't pay attention. And, you know, it, it goes to say, just because it's not happening doesn't mean it's against the policy. I mean, we yeah. could talk about things that happen on eBay all day. We just talked about how eBay was showing stock photos on a used item for a video that they put out. So just... Uh, they're not even following their own practices. Uh, the FAE sign. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, Big Drace has also picked up a LeBron James uh, Lakers shirt for three bucks. Cop shows 80. That's nice. the way to do it right there. Uh, let's see. And then Nick says, um, you ship the shoes in bubble mail or FedEx. No problem. I have been wondering this because Mercari has decent FedEx rates. Um Proceed at your own risk, guys. I share my experiences. Doesn't mean that that's going to be your experience, but my experience is that I'm going to get nailed every time. So I'm not doing it anymore. Deborah JK says, I've missed the whole show, or have I missed the whole show? No. Um, yeah. At 337, uh, and I'm way, way behind. No, you didn't miss the whole show. <laughs> I still, I'm the one missing the whole show. Yeah. Samantha, I don't like when you get an order and they cancel and then eBay expects you to leave feedback. I can't because the buyer canceled the order. Yeah um let's see we have drew trot with drew! us and uh dude's boot uh had a little uh, icon there uh Cernok says might be sitting with those russell wilson jerseys for a while maybe but you know even if i threw them out for 30 bucks a pop um i'm sure that they they'll go but ultimately are they still on that team no oh. but people buy jerseys like that all the time i mean i bought three jerseys three pittsburgh steelers jerseys Two were for a running back, um, Willie Parker, from like the 2000s. And one was Cordell Stewart. And they, they've all sold like 30 to, to 50 bucks a piece on average. And plus, the, the green colorway for Seattle is a pretty hot colorway. It's their alternate jersey. Uh, let's see. Devon says, I miss garage sales. The weather needs to get better. 51 degrees today. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, big drinks of jersey is usually a good find. Comps are pretty high. Real life is good. Fishing shirt brand. I have a few. I sell plaid shirts during the winter a lot. They seem to be good brands, especially for the price. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what caught our attention there. Um, let's see. Cernox is some, some stuff I tend to stay away from basic low dollar clothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maya says my, my non paying buyer is in Brazil and I don't ship there. I specifically have it excluded. They'd have to use a freight forwarder. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Big Dre says, I'm hoping to pick up some bulk clothing soon if I can make it to the sale. Mm. And we have M. Miller in the house. The sales have been slow and inconsistent, but focusing on selling and networking locally to improve sourcing quality. That's a good idea. Always look for ways to improve your sourcing situation if you can. Uh, I got one of those boards. Go back. Where? Andy, right there. Go back. Right here. I got one of those boards with the sound effects. Oh, you oh, didn't. that's cool. Yeah, those We've are been cool. wanting one for yeah for uh, uh, the the show. Samantha says, "Jenna, you guys don't watch TV, really? We do not. In, the, watch in a general regular sense, TV, yeah. we have all of we have a couple of streaming <laughs> sites. What are you laughing at? Um, it's 2024. Brenda pops a tent." <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'll leave that there. Anyway, Nick. So we don't watch regular like cable TV. Nick says some listings have stock photos that show up until you put your own photos. She may just not have uploaded her own photos yet. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Um Devon says those sell will sell my son's left handed, but he's older now, those left handed clubs. Uh Brenda Smith says, just to let you know, this Brenda would never sleep in a tent. Me neither. Uh, Samantha, Glamping or nothing. My father, bless him, always says people should learn to write with both hands just in case. That's mm -hmm. actually pretty smart. Yeah. Uh, but who, I don't even think the kids learn to write cursive anymore. No, they didn't. Uh, Our, um, Tyler did not ever learn 
cursive and he has the worst writing I have ever seen in my life. I don't know, Kent, uh, if they ran ads, I don't know, it would fix a lot of issues as far as it would increase traffic. Um, you, you still have, as depending on what you sell, being serious he might, I can't take Kent seriously. I know. I, I, I like his other comments. The, the dot dot dot. We never know. Overjoyed says I have been uh, uh, open box items I use for product reviews, but I don't have the time to take professional pics. I'll never be able to find all the original pics I took. Uh, yeah, we have open box items. We use uh, Photo Room. We take uh, the the nine or ten pics, and then we uh, either use the blur feature or we use the white background removal, or we do a combination of both. Now, anyone see? And this is different because. From one account to the next, I have a different lister on eBay. So on the other, the secondary account where it's top rated seller, we've had it for years. It, I was selling a pair of shoes and it was telling me, uh, it was showing me like, okay, you want to use this uh, view for your shoes here. You want to use your front view. You want to use your side view. It was showing like a silhouette of shoes and the different uh, ways it wanted us to take a photo and put it there it was really strange yeah whereas the main account of course we don't really sell shoes it wasn't showing me that hmm. um overjoyed says when comparing prices on ebay with amazon i've never found a great deal for used items on ebay after shipping yeah um you can you can find some really good deals on ebay but for the most part you got a lot of people that have overpriced their items on ebay trying to get amazon prices um when we can afford it we'll join what what are we joining see um, because you're so behind it's very difficult to put the comment with i'm trying here uh steven says bring back the john cameron swayze timex commercials you have to be like me old like me to remember them yeah <laughs> i guess uh, so i have no idea what he's talking about um i don't remember <laughs> those uh let's see overjoice's ebay rarely comes up in my google searches when pricing items so much of the stuff I have is readily available elsewhere, but I just want it out of my house. Yeah. yeah, I've noticed that too. A lot of the Google searches, um, the space that eBay used to take up in, in the uh, Google shopping isn't as uh, prevalent. Um, Beard says, USP, U, UPPS needs to come on. I don't want to drag 25 Pacato to the customer center. You must be driving. He's got to be doing voice text. Yeah. And it's that that accent. It can't. It that can't. Yeah. <laughs> um Cernok connection revenue of two point six billion, up two percent on as reported basis, up three percent for year over year. Two point three to two thousand twenty three. Um, yeah, her last name is J. Mm -hmm. um, it's over here, Larry Todd, double name. Well, that's because the the whole Larry thing stuck. I know you're. I'm sure your last name isn't a first name. Uh, Kelly says, don't be weird. That's just me shopping with Cheryl. Oh, shoot. I it's forgot not what the time first it was. name. If you have a first name and like a regular last name, he he doesn't find it weird. It's just if you have two first names, I don't. That's very strange. It's, yeah, well, it's just weird. It's hard to explain. Uh, Midwest Picker, I got my sale just before I logged on and still hit the like button. Woo! Yes. There you go. Shopping with Cheryl says, oh, the dogs can make traveling hard. My two love to take trips, but my, most places don't allow their size. Yeah. Yeah. Ours, I mean, their size is great, but they're, they're just not socially acclimated to other dogs. So it's hard. Uh, Mad Scientist says, I do know promoted. And if I had a choice, I never will. Yeah. I mean, it, it just depends. You know, no, it's not a one size fits all. What I do may not work well for you. What you do may not work well for the next guy. Uh, and that's why it's so hard to really try to take, you know, what you see on YouTube and implement it into your business and expect it to succeed. You really got to take bits and pieces of it. And for many, I think there's a lot of people out there that are promoting when they probably shouldn't even be promoting, depending on what you're selling. Uh, let's see. Dudes uh, says, I love boots. Uh, I'll be looking for them so far. I haven't seen but a few pairs. Go back up. Oh, gee. Rhonda's favorite color is gray. Really? Yeah. All right. My favorite color is gray. That's awesome. I'm not, I guess I'm not the only that person. That tells me a lot. Uh, <laughs> Paul Rose's favorite color as a kid was red. Now it's blue and I wear a lot of black. Freudian. Mm. 
uh pjs says hey uh hey. from australia well thank you for being here pjs uh samantha says i used to like hunter green as a color made me think of christmas i just mm -hmm. thought that some cars really look good in hunter green um and then kent says so hunter green before marriage and definitely gray after marriage that's rude <laughs> your taste can change sometimes Andy so met us as Waffle House is like uh, the Southern Benihana no. dinner and a show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get why you're saying Waffle that. House is just jacked. Wow. We went there for the Kentucky Derby back in 2018. We stopped at a Waffle House. Me and a buddy stopped at a Waffle House because it's like one of those experiences. Like, hey, let's stop at a Waffle House. Let's see what the, the hubbub is about. And you're like, you got to be kidding me. This food is horrible. You were uh, all um, dressed up and you went to a Waffle House? Yes. Wow. Well, we that, weren't no way. Uh, we, well, we weren't, we weren't dressed up. We just got off the plane. We were driving to Louisville. We had a hotel oh. at uh, the Marriott in Louisville. And so we were in our airplane clothes and we hadn't dressed up for the event because oh. it wasn't until the next day. Well, but still, that has nothing to do with the food. It was horrible. Honor, um, Honor Squaw? Squaw? Squaw likes to make ham and a crock pot. Ham and a crock pot. I've never done that. Uh, Major Win eBay says, Y'all are still live. Wow, awesome. Yeah, we're <laughs> here. And we've got Craigslist Hunter is with us. Hey, hey. hey, Pete, how you doing? Nice to see you, man. Uh, we have Bling Bling Factor Australia. Says, hi, John and Jenna and FA fam. I wish everyone strong sales this week. Hit the like button too, peeps. Yes, please. Aww, I appreciate thanks, that. Uh, basket noodle. I will cook for you, but I certainly won't uh, <laughs> Won't be something you can digest. <laughs> LOL. Uh, Biff Boffo says, when you raise promoter listings and raise the price, you've considered everyone but the buyer. Bad business. Yeah, I just think that you know it all starts with with where you're buying, what you're buying, and how much you're buying it for. Uh, it has to be a somewhat in demand item, and you got to get it as cheap as possible. That means you're buying in bulk and not just one off uh, to get that um, cost average down. Then uh, that's what you got to do. But uh, I think a lot of people they don't, and I'm not saying this has happened um, with some of the folks that are commenting, but I think sometimes we unknowingly buy too high and then we're trying to compete with the competition wondering how do they sell it so low and we try to do all these things to be competitive and it just doesn't always work uh basket noodle i hop is a combination of base chemicals wood glue no. and ground sawdust Ech. but it still tastes better than than uh, uh waffle house in my opinion dudes boot sales how much cash should you carry to cover all of it estimating i'm not sure what we're talking about here yard uh, sales well I, i'll take 500 dollars out of my i have a fund that i keep for my my poker bankroll so i keep petty cash in my safe and i'll pull cash out and i will then go run to the casino uh not to play but to get change for the yard sale uh because it's the, the quicker thing i to have to give the him morning. the look before he gets out of the car oh no no it's like i mean she's like oh that was fast yeah because i just went to go and uh, like break these bills yeah so uh you got enough change so you're not the guy that's bringing out 20s or 100 dollars bills at yard sales and uh usually get like 500 dollars worth and if i come across a big buy where i need to get more money i'll just say hey i'll, I'll be back i'll go to the bank and get more money and then whatever i spend and i need to do that tonight i need to re uh uh, I recoup those funds, pull out, out of the ATM, and I'll put that money back. Got Turn and Burn, Ohio. Says, hi, John and Jenna. I finally got my old account back almost oh, a year later. Awesome. Wow, it's nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, Mike Gertis says, I, I might have to break out the ramen noodles tonight. The only problem <laughs> is that it doesn't cost 10 cents anymore, so I've only cooked a third of it. <laughs> yeah, it's like 30 cents now. Yeah. Um. Beard says, Jenna, that $30 is coming out of your makeup budget. No. What $30? Oh, the, the $30 for the label. The yeah, yeah. It's like, no. oh, I'm sorry. Okay. It's that... called cost to doing business. Average Jenna card... makes mistakes. Average card collector says, hello <laughs> from Indiana. Hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, Dark Horse Productions says, good. Uh, God dang it, Bobby, you're going to learn to swing left handed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go talk back to me. I'm not sending this back. <laughs> Here, let's take this Tiger Woods video and just flip it. Now, he's, he's left-handed. See how easy that was? Howdy, dear John. Beautiful oh, Jenna Angel. Uh, been listening to the telly. Not feeling great, but oh. glad to see you all. Well, hopefully you feel hopefully better. Hopefully you feel better. Uh, Devon says fuel surcharge. Yep, that's in there. 
Uh, Samantha says, what I miss, South Carolina shipping can be expensive, guys. Well, it's only expensive because of uh, because I made done. a mistake. <laughs> Turner Burns is hanging there, everyone. eBay is making a lot of great changes and updates on the app. It will be best-selling platform. Give it some time. And I know who this is now. I do, too. I do. Um, nice. And the, the, see the, the thing is, there's so many Joshes. There's so many Jameses. And there's a ton of Mikes that watch this show. I don't know why. Or like resellers, right? But I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Uh, Dark Horse Productions. When a buyer fails to even check the orientation of golf clubs, geez, one of the major reasons I'm getting back to reselling is not having to rely on others. Yeah, yeah uh, that's for sure. I mean, I'm sure if it's a golfer, they're, they're going to know. Uh, people today, I'm sorry, but dang, how do you not check for that? Yeah. Uh, we got Pat D's, the traveling picker. It says, two years ago, I was shipping the Barbie dream houses at Christmas. Had to use FedEx, so put the, the box in a bag, tape it up, and got charged 35 extra claims that jump up their machines. Yeah, exactly it's exactly what they say. what they say. They say they have to have a, an employee on those conveyor belts because of these packages, if they, they have any caught. flaps that are that are loose, they get caught in the machine, and it, it jams up all the other boxes behind it. Yeah. And uh, they, uh, it's just it happens too often, and they charge a fee. Maybe they don't catch it. But um, on ones that they do, you're going to get nailed. Uh, Dark Horse says, buyers don't care to read your listings. I'm sorry you know what, if it's in the description, eBay should refund you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then do the return, that's fine, but refund the seller for the item, sell price minus shipping at least. Mm -hmm. But the seller is still responsible to, to make sure the item title is correct and the description, all the information mm -hmm. in there and eBay will always side with the buyer. Uh, even if there's no mistake, they'll always side with the buyer. Pat D says, you, you, uh, PS was building me boxes and typically was $15 cheaper than FedEx, but this was two times FedEx was cheaper until the plastic surcharge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I look, I like the, the discounts that I get from FedEx. It is cheaper in most cases uh, than most people will get because it's a negotiated thing. Uh, the rep that I had, moved on to a, a higher position within FedEx. Then he stepped down like a couple of days ago. So I'm like, oh, this sucks. I'm not going to have the, the the same level of service. Uh, Jenna, you're not dumb. Everyone has their days. Trust me, learn not to ship while sleep deprived. Mm. We have Simple Beautiful says, hey, J&J, how are you? The red notification icon over the bell has been popping on and off every five minutes for a couple of weeks, but no message. eBay has been trying to solve it, but can't. You know how? So if you hover over that icon, that, that bell icon on eBay, it should give you on a drop eBay? down. Does eBay? eBay been trying. You can't go live on eBay. What are you talking about? Who said anything about live? This is an eBay question. The red notification icon notification. over the bell has been popping on off every five minutes for about a couple of weeks. And EB, so eBay, right, been trying to solve it, but can't. You know how. Um Hover the icon, the mouse cursor over the icon to see if what pops down, uh, but it should should go away as soon as you click on it. I know we all. Know. I got so um, lost. Meg now. says my eBay FedEx adjustment was thirty seven dollars because mm. my dimensions, additional weight. So even though I entered the right dimensions and weight, eBay reps basically said that the dimensions aren't actually considered when initially purchasing the label. So you get dinged after the fact, even if you properly measure and weigh when purchasing. So the takeaway for me is. Um, do not buy FedEx labels on eBay. Buy them directly from uh, FedEx if you can get a deal like I am. If it's a dollar or two difference, I'll eat it because I haven't had this issue. The hundreds of packages we shipped this uh, last year uh, using them, never had a problem uh, with it. Uh, Dude's Boots says, when starting, did you take certain items to a dry cleaner? No. Generally, no. Just you know, throw them in the wash. Uh, it seemed like they these these guys washed these items. They smelled like they were you know, the ones we bought the the, oh, the, clothes. the yeah the clothes. Um, really? uh, Maya says uh, a few months ago I sent the wrong item for the first time because I was sleep deprived. Had two sweatshirts of the same brand, color, and size, different print. You just learn to be careful. Yeah, yeah, for sure on that. Yeah, we've made those mistakes. Biff Buffo says two first names is called a firsty firsty. firsty. Yeah, uh, it just. It's just weird for me. And it's not their <laughs> fault, but I still look at them kind of sideways. You know, like uh, William William Bob. William or, Williams. Well, that's... No. That's just like really messed up on the parents' part. 
my opinion. Yeah, it's like, okay, what's really going on yeah. there? Maya says, Alyssa, yeah, I know. I always double check and open the shirt just to be sure. Didn't open the shirt to check what print it was. Yeah. Uh, we got Spam Banshee, and usually that means chemo is there, Primo Chemo. Hey, hey. So nice seeing you guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, Ashley Sims says, double names weird me out. My uncle's name is Steven Stevens. Oh, my. I know a Thomas Thomas and a William Williams. Oh, gosh. I just, I feel like it's just, it's not right on the parents' behalf. I mean. It's weird. I mean, I could. They did them dirty. Yeah. Um, you know, Tracy Thomas. You know, like, like what? I don't know. That's just Tracy me. Thomas is normal to me. That's a first name. First name and a first name. Waffle House isn't great. The original Pancake House was the best. Waffle Houses. And, you know, we had the same thing happen. We stopped at a uh, White oh. Castle. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, White Castle. We got to have the White Castle. It was disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Texas Grown says, anyone having issues with eBay search? I take a picture and random items show up. Mm -hmm. I think that's been going on for a while, actually um with ebay search it's not because ebay uses ai to try to determine they they're using all the other factors like what you've searched for what you bought all these things to try to find uh what you're really looking for and it doesn't uh now unless you're looking for your own and then i don't know what to tell you there because i've had problems there too beard says joni was yelling at me no way out of her uh, makeup budget those are fighting words that's right yeah let alone okay makeup one thing but my skincare that's another someone wants to know about a washer and dryer brand Man, lg Wh whirlpool l no lg has been the best so far for samsung? us no samsung's terrible a wig iq or wiggy q says i'm having the bell issue too even though i have cleared it it still pops back up with no drop down mm -hmm. ebay's constantly tinkering with their software so i, I wouldn't let it bother you um just work around it that's kind of what we do right uh we got uh j ride flips hey. thanks for being here jake uh we've got roman says looks like i'm right on time hello everyone yes you hello, are right on time. roman kind uh, of like i was late to his live on Saturday. we got rosie games haven't seen her in a while hi john hi, and jenna rosie. nice to see you both i hope the week is treating you well thank you and uh yeah we're gonna have a good evening tonight uh wiggy q says or uh, wig iq says Yes on eBay Wiggy and Q. Google, Wiggy Q, whatever. Yes on eBay and Google Lens search random crap. Hmm. Yeah, I like. I still, I still see a lot of eBay on on Google Lens search, which works for me, because a lot of the times I'm trying to figure out what is this, and ultimately I want to be able to find it on eBay. So if that helps me find it on eBay, then it works. But as far as do I want eBay spending my ad spend on Google Lens? I mean, what buyer is going to do a Google Lens unless something broke? They don't know what to call it, so they're going to use Google Lens to try to find it. But generally, I don't see buyers doing that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ashley Sims, mom's drugs must have been good when giving birth. I'll name him William Williams. <laughs> exactly. How about Robert Robbie Robertson <coughs> not getting this job? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, That's come terrible. on. It's like naming a podcast the uh, the Profit Playbook podcast. I know. I mean, who does that? Who, just, right? who does that? Yeah. Anytime picker says, Meg, I got a coffee. Thank you. Now I'll visit Meg to bring coffee back. Um, Biff Boffo says, Superman was a firsty firsty Clark Kent. See? Oh, yep. Um, and who was it? It was, who was the, the girl? Uh, was it Clark Kent? I'm sure someone's going to tell me here. Clark Kent saved, was it Lois? Lois Lane. Lois Lane. And I'm sure she looked at him sideways uh, when she first met him. Jovial Jugglers, the first time I bought a bag of burgers from White Castle when I was sober, thought I would oh. die. And I used to, I think maybe as a kid, little kid, I tried them and I thought they were good. So that stuck with me. We went to White Castle and it's like, this is nothing but a grease burger, like the little sliders. Uh, Bearded Picker says, new operating system loading on one of my yard sale finds, 2012 MacBook Pro for five bucks. Nice. There you go. Uh, let's yeah, see. MacBook. P -P -P, Dude, says, I know someone know named Spiderweb. No, you don't. Oh, there's all kinds of names. No, you do not. I remember one time someone came up to me laughing. This is when we worked at the call center. That's crazy. Okay. You know the Indian uh, last names like uh, White oh, Rock, mm -hmm. um, Blackfish, yes. or whatever? 
So they came up to me and this is no lie. This was on the credit card. Uh, the name was, her first name was Iona. Her last name was Little White Man. Mm -hmm. Iona Little White Man. And I almost died. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of names like that when you're dealing with yes. people. <laughs> When I was in training, when I first got hired in training, my first phone call was one of those kinds of names. I certainly don't remember what it was, but I thought they were joking. And I was like, I'm sorry, <laughs> excuse me. And my supervisor came over and was like, yes, that is their name. I was like, okay, that's, well, that's that abusive. just sounds weird. That's like, yeah, that's child abuse. Yeah. That's the, the make the child live like that. Ashley Sims says, my high school health teacher's name was Lois Lane. Uh, Lilac Seller, there's a character in the movie Happy Texas named Wayne 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 Jr. Oh, my gosh. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see. Paul Rose says, did Wimpy Burgers ever make it over there? Wimpy? Big in the, the late 70s, 80s, probably down to their last three restaurants now. No, no I, I know I what you're never... talking about. That's Wimpy from Popeye. Um Give me a hamburger today and I'll pay you back on Tuesday or something like that. Right. I'm sure that's, he said something similar to that. Mm -hmm. um, Ashley Sims says we've had a patient at work whose last name is Iron Necklace. Mm. Not going to say his first name, but it fits. Thought it was being, I was being punk. Yeah. Just weird. That's wow. That's crazy. dudes uh, says also knew a dude named Richard hit Richard head. He was found. Yep. You imagine no. correctly. His wife found him when she got home from work. <laughs> what? Wow. Simple Beautiful says, when you get a message, <laughs> the red icon over the bill pops up to show your message right. But with me, it pops up every five minutes with no message. eBay says, I'm the only one. But others say the same thing, sale tank, sales tanked. Now, huh. is that, I'm, I'm taking it that's on the PC or the app. If it's the, the app, delete the darn app, reinstall it, sign in again, and uh, that fixes a lot of problems on the app and there it is we'll gladly pay you tuesday for a hamburger today that's the wimpy thing uh kent says my real name is mike oxbig yeah okay well, okay <laughs> dudes uh says can you imagine having to tell people how he passed yeah wow i'm not the one <laughs> kent is uh laughing at that and uh beard says can't you just said you didn't even know five inches well and we're talking about tents and stuff like that on the show. I think it's wow. kind of about time. I that think we, it's time to wrap it up before we yeah. go fully in the ditch. Yeah, <laughs> we're going way off the bridge here. So um, who knows what this is, what this eBay Ford is going to be, if it's going to be a thing at all. Um, just from this article, uh, thank you again to Primo Chemo for even uh, mentioning it because I would have been oblivious to it. Um, it's a, a value added resource is the website. If you want to go check it out yourself. And, uh, I just think it's good food for thought. My hope is that eBay is watching these videos and that they, you know, if they're initially saying, Hey, this is our, our vision, then maybe the feedback isn't wrong. Maybe if it lines up with your initial vision, maybe it's time to start fulfilling that vision and allow us sellers that have been holding the bag for the last three years to finally see some benefits um, of, of eBay again. And, you know, I've been doing fairly well, but there's so many people that'll say, tell the opposite story. And uh, hopefully we can all benefit if eBay does the right thing. And so eBay at forward, who knows, but, you know, persevering through it all while we wait for eBay to get their act together is yet another example of how flipping ain't easy. I want you guys to have an excellent rest of your week and we will talk to you guys very soon.